Three years go by since Ethan saved Mia from the virus created by Umbrella Corporation. He now lives in a house far from the city with Mia and their infant daughter Rose. As Ethan puts Rose to sleep and heads towards Mia for dinner, they are attacked by Chris Redfield and his team. Mia is shot dead by Chris and Rose is taken away by him and his team, while Ethan is knocked unconscious and taken away. In a flashback, we learn that Mia has been trying to tell Ethan something about their daughter but does not get the chance to actually tell him. As Ethan wakes up, he finds that the truck in which he was being transported has crashed. As he moves ahead, he discovers a village nearby. Once he reaches the village, he learns that the village is under attack by infected zombies. As he come in contact with the zombies, Ethan loses some of his fingers. After that he reaches a house where someone calls him over a radio to Louise's house near the field. He makes his way towards the house, but on his way he is attacked by a group of zombies, and he fails to defend himself against them. Before the zombies could finish him off, they are called off by something. Once the infected is gone, Ethan gets back up and makes his way forward, on his way he comes across a strange old woman which mentions Ethan's daughter and informs him that she is in danger, and that someone by the name of Mother Miranda anticipates their arrival. The old woman then leaves without answering Ethan's questions. When Ethan reaches near Louise's house, he finds Elena and Leonard, a girl and her injured father in a hut who tells him the gate of Louise's house is closed that's why they are hiding in the hut. Ethan successfully opens the gate of Louise's house and all three of them enter it. He then meets Louisa, who takes her to a room where the rest of the survivors are staying. One of them initiates a prayer, calling out for help from the same mother Miranda which the old woman mentioned before. While they are praying, Elena's father turns into a zombie and attacks the group, killing everyone except Ethan and Elena. As he tries to kill Ethan, Elena comes to the rescue and shoots her own father, saving Ethan. Ethan and Elena prepare to escape the house, but Elena changes her mind when she looks at her sick father and dies in the house with him. Ethan decides to make his way towards the castle above the village. On his way he is attacked by Heisenberg, one of the four lords of the castle. Ethan is handcuffed and brought to Mother Miranda, where all the lords are present and fight over who should get to deal with Ethan. Miranda decides to hand Ethan over to Heisenberg, who decides to play a game with Ethan and allows him to run for his life. Ethan manages to escape him successfully, and continues his way towards the castle. Before entering the castle, he meets a merchant by the name of Duke, who offers to sell arms to him. Ethan enters the Dimitrescu castle, and he is attacked by Dimitrescu daughters, which takes him to their mother Alcina Dimitrescu and she ties him up in a room. Somehow he frees himself and again meets with Duke, he guides him to make his way to the private chamber of Dimitrescu in hopes of finding his daughter. As he makes his way towards to the private chamber, he is faced with one of the Dimitrescu daughters, Ethan kills her by shooting the windows, allowing the wind to freeze her. As he reaches the Dimitrescu chamber he finds a hidden way which leads to the basement of castle. Through there he reaches Lady Dimitrescu's room and is confronted by her. Ethan manages to escape and faces the other two daughters of Lady Dimitrescu. Once he has beaten them, he engages in a final fight with the lady, which transforms into a monster. After an intense battle, he manages to kill her and obtains a dirty flask. As he makes his way forward, he again meets the strange old woman. She leaves behind a winged key which helps Ethan reach the altar. There he meets Duke again, who informs him that the dirty flask is actually Rose's head. Duke guides him to a house with red chimney in the western part of the village. As Ethan reaches the mentioned house, he finds one part of the winged key. He returns to Duke and Duke reveals Rose's body has been dismantled into four flasks, with each lord owning one flask. In order to retrieve the remaining flasks, Ethan must make his way towards the other lord's houses. He then decides to go to the house of Lord Beneviento, a doll-like creature with a childish behavior. Once Ethan enters her home, he is challenged with several puzzles, but eventually makes his way towards Beneviento and retrieves the other part of the winged key and the legs flask after killing her. After that he makes his way to Lord Moreau's place. Ethan manages to grab the arms flask but he is trapped by Moreau. As he manages to get out of his trap, he is attacked by Chris and his team, who is after Miranda as well. While they are conversating, they are attacked by Moreau. Chris and his team manages to escape while Ethan is left behind to fight Moreau. He manages to kill him successfully and then heads towards Moreau place, there he retrieves the next part of Winged Key. While he is there, Heisenberg contact him through the television and offers his help to Ethan and guides him to the next flask in the graveyard, there Ethan is attacked by a horde of infected zombies. After defeating the horde, Ethan retrieves the torso flask. Heisenberg contacts him once again and asks him to bring all four flasks to the altar. As Ethan returns to the altar and attaches the flask to it, he retrieves the giant chalice, 
which he further uses to open the way to Heisenberg's factory. At the factory, Heisenberg reveals that Miranda is testing Ethan's strength by making him fight the Four Lords, and he offers Ethan to join forces with him and together, stating that they both can use Rose as a weapon against Miranda and get rid of her. Ethan refuses and Heisenberg kicks him down to the lower levels of the factory. There he is chased by a zombie infused with a sharp fan. Ethan manages to escape him and tries to find his way out of the factory. Eventually he kills the fan zombie and he is faced with Heisenberg, who is now transformed into a giant metal monster. Heisenberg again threw Ethan down further in his factory and there Ethan meets Chris once again. Chris finally explains to Ethan about why he attacked his home. He reveals that he was not living with Mia but in fact it was Miranda in Mia's form, who was there to take Rose away. Chris had to kill her and take Ethan and Rose to a safe place before Miranda could infect them, but things changed when their transportation truck got attacked. He promises Ethan that he will help him rescue Rose and then he leaves, handing over a weaponized vehicle to Ethan. Ethan uses the vehicle to defeat Heisenberg. Once he has gotten rid of Heisenberg, Chris contacts him to make sure he is safe, Ethan is distracted by another fake image of Mia, which reveals herself to be Miranda, and tells Ethan that Rose is actually a bio-experiment with great strength called Evelyn. It is also revealed that the strange old woman which was guiding Ethan through his journey in the village was none other than Miranda herself. She tells Ethan that she is going to perform a ceremony with the help of Megamycete, the source of the mold through which Miranda has infected the entire village, and reborn Rose as her daughter. She then rips out Ethan's heart and kills him. On the other hand, Chris is informed of Ethan's death and he prepares his team to attack Miranda. He makes his way through the village which is now swarming with molded trees and beasts. After destroying the mold wall, Chris enters a cave beneath the village and discovers the Megami seat. He plants a bomb onto it and heads onto Miranda's lab to find and kill her. There he finds Mia and rescues her, he informs her of Rose's abduction and Ethan's death, and promises to save Rose. Mia reveals that Ethan cannot die as he is special. Elsewhere, Ethan rises and meets Evelyn, who tries to mess with his head and tells him that he died three years ago at the baker's house by Jack. She tries to make Ethan believe that he is made out of mold and he cannot save his family anymore. As Ethan resists her, he awakens in the carriage of Duke, who takes him to the village so he can save his daughter. As he reaches Miranda, she revives Rose from the mold. Miranda is shocked when she realizes that her powers are leaving her body. Ethan grabs Rose but Miranda takes her away and absorbs her in her body. She turns into her monster form and engages in a battle with Ethan, and as Ethan defeats her, her mold ceiling is broke and her body breaks down, revealing Rose. As Ethan retrieves Rose, his body starts turning into mold. Chris arrives to take them out of the village before the Megami seat grows and takes over it. As they are escaping, Ethan decides to hand over Rose to Chris and grabs the detonator, and stays back in the village, asking Chris to take care of Rose and wish a goodbye to Mia from his side. Chris returns to the helicopter with Rose and hands her over to Mia. As Mia is questioning Chris about Ethan's whereabouts, the village explodes and Chris reveals that Ethan decided to sacrifice himself. As Mia mourns the loss of Ethan, Chris discovers that the Bza soldiers sent to the village were organic bioweapons and orders his squad to head for the Bza's European headquarters. Sixteen years go by, Rose visits the grave of her father, soon she is approached by a black SUV. In the final scenes of the game, it is revealed that Rose is now being used by the Umbrella Corporation as a bioweapon. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe for more epic videos. We will see you at the next one.